What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So pretty big update today. It would appear that the details for the upcoming Gogeta Blue and Broly cards have been leaked by French data miners. Now keep in mind of course that this isn't an official announcement from Bandai. It is a leak so do allow for a certain margin of error when it comes to the in-game releases. But the thing is, if these units end up being anywhere close to what it says right here in this text, they are going to be absolutely busted. They're going to be absolutely game breaking, game changing units. And honestly, like, I mean, we expected that, right? Because these guys have been so hyped up. They've been so highly anticipated that we knew Bandai was going to make them good. But just something about seeing this stuff written down on paper or just on this forum. <laughs> just, I don't know, man. It's just different. It's a different feeling. It brings my hype level to a whole other level. And looking at this, I'm just like, are they actually doing this? Are they actually making units that are this freaking broken? But I mean, I, I guess they are. Of course, like I said, it's not official, but these guys have been fairly accurate in the past, so I do trust it to a fairly high degree. Um, but either way, enough of me fanboying over this. There's enough of me freaking out, hyping them up. Let's just get down to the details and uh, we'll talk about it after. All right. So. I'm only going to go over the details for the TUR versions of both cards because let's be real, like we're not using them in their SSR form. <laughs> we are going to awaken them as soon as we can. So that's all that really matters. If you guys are interested in what they do um, in their SSR form when you first pull them, then you can, I'll, you know what, I'll link, leave a link to the original post down below. You can look at it there for yourselves. All right. So first of all, thank you to Clayton230 for the English translations because it was originally written in French. And uh, he says, here's my full skill translation for the two R's. I hope the wall of text isn't too much for you. Nah, man, it's not too much for me at all. It actually helps a ton. So thank you very much to Clayton230. So first things first, we have the strongest fusion above all, TUR AGL Super Saiyan Gogeta, all right? Leader skills. So first of all, dual category lead, what we expected, same thing as the hit that just dropped on global. And we'll get to that thing, the hit thing, in just a second, because that is absolutely ridiculous, man. Like, I have many, many strong opinions about the global Christmas right now. But I'll talk about that in just a second. All right, so leader skills, key plus three, attack plus 170%, uh, and HP and defense plus 150% for movie heroes. So excellent leader skill right there for movie heroes category, a brand new category for the game. Also, key plus three, attack plus 170%, and HP and defense plus 130%, or fusion so basically the same leader skill for fusions as LR Gogeta but also in addition to that a 170% attack and 150% defense and HP leader skill for movie heroes all right and the movie heroes category isn't that bad at all um, I do think it's a little bit worse right now than movie bosses but if you throw in the fusions units as well it's, it's gonna be an absolutely busted team they can run with this guy I mean, if, you're, if you're combining fusions which is already one of the best categories in the game with the movie heroes it's, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Okay. Passive is 100% attack and defense, effective against all types, and medium chance to dodge enemy attack 30%, and when conditions are met, transform, which is after five turns from start of battle. So if this is true, then we don't have to really freak out at all. I mean, a lot of people, when they heard that Gogeta was gonna be a transforming unit, they were like, oh, Bandai screwed again. Like, screwed this super hype card for us because he's transforming, and now we're never gonna get transformation off. But it would appear that the only criteria you have to meet is, you know, reach five turns or the fifth turn of the fight and he will transform. Now, I don't know if there's going to be like an HP restriction or anything like that, but um, from what it seems like right now, five turns is the only restriction. And if that's the case, it's not too bad at all. So I'm happy about that. Sounds good to me. Um, and aside from that, I mean, 100% attack and defense is always good. Good tanking, good damage. I'm sure his stats will be very high as well. Haven't seen any information about the actual stat numbers. So I don't know about like how high his attack is or anything like that or how high his defense is, but I'm sure they'll, they'll be quite good. So damage output is going to be fine. Attack defense is going to be good. Good tanking. Effective against all types, which is a hallmark of Gogeta cards, is there as well. So he's going to do a lot of damage because of that. Um, and medium chance to dodge. So that will also factor into his tankiness or just ability to reduce damage taken for your team because he will be able to dodge a fair amount of attacks with 30%. And uh, the transformation, of course. Okay, super attack effect is inflicts immense damage and greatly lowers attack for one, or no, greatly raises attack for one turn. It would be weird. It would be weird if he lowered his own attack. Okay, anyways, links. Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan race, fuse fighter, Super Saiyan, prepare for battle over in a flash, 
Golden Warrior and Fierce Battle. Excellent, excellent links overall. Um, we're gonna be able to get key links off with a lot of units on that team you're running him on. And uh, Fierce Battle, of course, is always good. Super Saiyan is always good, so can't complain about that. And his categories are Movie Heroes, Fusion, Realm of Gods, and Enhanced Transformation. So overall, just a really good card. But you guys are probably more interested in what he does once he actually transforms into Super Saiyan Blue. Keep in mind, he does start off as a Super Saiyan Gogeta. You can only get him to Super Saiyan Blue after the transformation, which is apparently five turns after the start of the battle. Now in his transform state, his passive becomes 130% to attack and defense. Guaranteed critical hit when attacking. This is all attacks. Doesn't matter if it's a normal attack or a super attack, 100% chance to be a critical. Now, if you guys thought that transforming Goku and transforming Frieza were good with their one guaranteed super in their last phase of their transformation. Yo, that, that is sad. That is like nothing compared to this right here. This guy has a guaranteed chance for all of his attacks to be critical. Now, maybe they'll change it. Maybe maybe there's something you know off with the translation where it's a limited number of attacks. But from what I can see here, it looks like it's an unlimited number of attacks. Like every single attack, as long as he's in the state, is going to be a critical for the rest of the fight. So, yeah, that's busted, guys. That <laughs> That is broken. 100% chance for criticals. Okay. And for the cherry on the top of the uh, Gogeta Sunday, I guess, high chance of dodging enemy attack 50%. So, adds more to his tankiness. He's already going to be quite tanky with the 130% defense, but now he also has a 50% chance to dodge all enemy attacks. I believe that includes supers as well. So, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. His super attack effect now inflicts immense damage, which is the same as before, and greatly raises attack for three turns. Oh, attack and defense for three turns. Okay, cool. And his links are pretty much the same, except that Golden Warrior is replaced by Warrior Gods. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is Gogeta Blue. Like I said, it could be a little bit off because translations sometimes do, uh, you know, get a few details wrong, but it seems like... I mean, he's not too insane overall, where like, I'm just like, I don't know if that like seems right or not, maybe that's too broken, but he's still very broken, he's still very busted, but he is the right level of busted where like, I was expecting that, you know what I mean? So <laughs> this guy's gonna be amazing, man, this gonna be, he's so good, I was so excited for him already, but to see these, these details, these uh, stats, I guess, I mean... Man, I want him. I want him so bad. I even know what his TUR art looks like. I'm pretty sure the U the SSR art was shown on B Jump. But I don't know what he looks like, or maybe not. Actually, he was blue in the B Jump leak. I don't really know. I, maybe that's his final card art in the game as well. But either way, I can't wait to see what his final form will look like. Um, what the super tax? Oh my god, the super tax, dude. The super tax is gonna be so so nice. I know they're gonna do these guys justice. So, yeah, freaking amazing looking card right there. But from what I can tell. Broly might be even a little bit more broken than Gogeta is, which kind of blows my mind. All right, so let's let's get into it. Endless evolution of the fatricidal fighting. Okay, I think that means like killing your dad, right? Fatricidal. What does that mean? I don't really know. That's that, that's a that's a big word. Okay, T U R physical S S J Broly leader skill dual category leader again. P plus three attack plus 170 percent and H P defense plus 150 percent for movie bosses. So 20 percent more attack then AGL Turles, and uh, for full power, he gives 170% attack, P plus 3, and HP and defense plus 130%, so 20% more attack than the full power SSJ4 Goku gives, but 20% uh, less HP and defense, but overall still, amazing, amazing leader skills, um, I mean, movie bosses and full power are two very, very powerful, very, very powerful categories, especially full power um, with... I think LR Goku and Frieza are on there, right? Or maybe not, actually. Could be wrong. Okay, either way, still a great category. <laughs> and uh, man, I, 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 these guys are just gonna have such strong teams. Aside from the fact that they are very, very powerful units themselves, their teams are just gonna be so, so good. Anyways, passive. P plus six, attack plus 130%, and defense plus uh, 100%. Okay, so for once, we actually have a tanky Broly, right? All these Brolies that we've had in the past have all been kind of glass cannons, man. Think about SSJ3 Broly, think about LR Broly. Um, what other Brolies am I talking about? Physical Broly, I don't really know if he can tank either. Probably not very well if he can. Um, so overall, I mean, all the other Brolies we've had in the past have been pretty much damage dealers that are or glass cannons, right? But this guy can actually do a little bit of tanking, which is good. And also, key plus six means that he's guaranteed to get a super off always. 
because if you have a double lead with key plus three, that's six key right off the bat. He gives himself plus six key. He is guaranteed to get a super every single turn, no matter what. You can give him zero orbs, which is impossible. But if you give him zero orbs, he still gets a super op. So that's nice. Super attack effect causes colossal damage to all enemies. Attack all and greatly raises attack for one turn. When conditions are met, transform, which is after four turns from the start of battle. So Broly is actually even easier to get his transformation off for because he only requires four turns as opposed to Gogeta, who requires five turns. But it's good to see that both these guys are not that hard to transform, which is which is awesome because we were, I think everyone was kind of worried, a little bit scared that it was going to take a lot to get these guys' transformations off and we weren't going to be able to see them that often during events, but the fact that it's only four turns and five turns I think is um, it's a very good thing, it's very positive, all right? Um, now here's the thing, okay, one detail I did want to point out is that colossal damage on paper initially kind of seems like it's a great thing, right? Because you're like, colossal damage, that's like... You know, that, that's the same damage multiplier as LRs for their 12 key supers, most, for most of them at least. And, you know, that means he's going to have an insane damage multiplier, right? But if that's actually the case, if he actually gets Colossal Damage, apparently Colossal Damage is a lower multiplier than Supreme Damage. Apparently Supreme Damage is actually a higher percentage than Colossal Damage. The only reason that Colossal Damage is really good on LRs is because they get to SA20, right? So they get the extra 10 SA boost, so the Colossal Damage can still do a lot of damage. But when it comes to SA10 units like TURs, you don't want Colossal Damage. I mean, I don't think any one of them have had Colossal Damage in the past, so it doesn't really make sense anyways. But the fact that it's a TUR unit that will only be able to get to SA10 and Colossal damage with that, it just, it's, it's not gonna be good. It means his damage is gonna be kind of mediocre in this state because, like I said, it's lower than Supreme. And don't even get me started on immense damage, man. It's way lower than immense damage. So, some people are thinking that the Colossal damage multiplier might be a mistake with the translation and he'll most likely get immense damage, but I guess that remains to be seen. Um, I guess maybe, maybe it would make sense since it's AoE that they're gonna, they're gonna nerf his damage multiplier a little bit for his untransformed state, but. I don't really know. I kind of feel like immense damage still makes more sense, but we'll have to see how that turns out. His links are Saiyan Race, Super Saiyan, Berserk, Prodigies, Shocking Speed, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Great Links again, can't complain about that. And categories are Movie Bosses, Pure Saiyan, Full Power, and Enhanced Transformation. Okay, one thing I did, want, I did want to like complain about a little bit is the fact that no Gogeta cards or Vegito cards have Pure Saiyan. Like, why? I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's a fusion, but... It's a fusion of two pure Saiyans. Vegeta's 100% Saiyan, Goku's 100% Saiyan, so why are these guys not pure Saiyans? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I feel like these Gogeta and Vegito cards should be pure Saiyans, but that's a side note. I just, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you agree with me. Anyways, besides the point, transform state. After four turns, he'll transform into uh, Super Saiyan Broly, I guess legendary Super Saiyan Broly. I guess the original one was not legendary, or not full power, I guess. Okay, so it's gonna be full power Super Saiyan Broly. And his passive becomes key plus eight, which I don't understand because, I mean, unless he's going to be able to get to 24 key as a TUR unit, or maybe he's going to be an LR. Is he going to be an LR? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to be an LR, no. So why does he need plus eight key? This doesn't make any sense, but okay, whatever. Anyways, plus eight key, attack plus 188%, which is insane. Absolutely off the charts, super super high, 120% defense, and launches an additional attack which has a high chance to become a super attack, 50% of being a super attack. So, I mean, every other turn he's gonna be launching two super attacks pretty much on average, and he's gonna do so much damage because this guy gets 188% attack in addition to his 170% leader skill. He'll be running double leads of course, um, so the damage potential for this guy is gonna be absolutely insane. Absolutely, absolutely off the charts absolutely bananas okay you know what i'm done with that <laughs> i just I, I just don't know what words to use to explain how hard this broly is gonna hit and super attack effect is inflicts immense damage and greatly reduces defense and his links are gonna be the same as untransformed super saiyan broly so nothing changes there um but these are the cards guys these are the two cards the broly and the gogeta's are all the information again transfer uh translation i almost said trans transformation translation provided by clayton 230 and uh, that's that's the information there, guys. I mean, I'm going to say it again, just to be clear, make sure everyone knows that this isn't guaranteed. This is not 100%. Things could change between now 
and when the cards actually are released. But oh man, like if like I said, if, if it comes anywhere close to what we see here, these guys are gonna be absolutely game changing units, man. They're so freaking strong. They're so freaking strong, and I, I want them now. I want them right now, and it's sad because I'm a global player, but it's not, it's not like we have to wait for that long. For global players out there uh, who you know make up the majority of my fan base, the majority of my subscriber base, um, you only have to wait about a month. I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed that we're gonna get the Broly celebration beginning when the inter international release of the movie comes out, or wait, that made no sense. Uh, when the, when the movie is released internationally, which is January 16th, and then at the end of the month, probably end of January, like. 27, 28th or so, uh, we will get the banner for this these units as well, or banners, I guess, probably gonna be Dual Dolkan Fest. Um, so we don't have to wait that long, and that just means that we can save more, right? We have more time to save, but you guys are JP players, and freaking rejoice, I guess. Be happy, you guys got a great Christmas slash New Year's present right here. Um, hope you guys saved a, a good amount of stones, or if you're pay to play, then hope you bought a good amount of stones. And I hope everybody gets these guys because they are they're must have units, and I'm sure their banners are gonna be really really good as well. Like, I'm sure they're gonna be very very valuable banners with very good units because when it comes to hype celebrations like this, they usually do it right at least for JP. If, and if they do it right for JP, then Global will get usually somewhere close to that. But <laughs> I mean, what I'm trying to lead this conversation into is the whole situation with the hit on Global, man. Like. What the F is that freaking hit banner? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? I mean, <laughs> it's just stupid. Like, it's a, it's supposed to be the, our Christmas banner. It's supposed to be Global's Christmas banner. And they nerfed the crap out of... Well, they didn't nerf it, per se, because it's the first time we've seen this banner. But compared to last year's banner, and how good the units on that banner were at the time, and how hyped that banner was, this is a far cry from that. This is nothing compared to that, man. And... Here's, here's the thing, let me be clear that I feel like this banner, if it was released at any other time, let's say they released it in uh, April or June or whatever, like a random ass time, then no one would complain about it. No, People would be like, you know what, we got UI Goku on it, we got Jiren, and we got the new hit. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. But the fact that it's supposed to be the Christmas banner, it's taking the place of a potentially better Christmas banner, a more hyped Christmas banner, that's why people have reason and cause to be pissed off, and I, I think they should be. I really think, think they should be, because Bandai really effed this up for global players, and they were having such a good streak of being nice to global, giving a lot of rewards, stones, and stuff like that, and then they just go and do this. Only one discounted multi of 30 stones, and the rest are full price, no 3 plus 1, no step ups, no tickets or anything like that. The only thing they give are Santa Rochis and candy canes. Are you serious? We don't care! I, I don't care. I have so many Kai's in my box. I will never be. I will never run out of Kai's with the amount of Perungas and stuff they're giving us. And it's just awful, man. Like no Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, no um, Android 17, nothing. Like <laughs> freaking Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku is featured. This guy is freaking ancient. He's so ancient. He's so old. He's not even good anymore. He was featured on last year's global banner for Christmas. Last year's banner for Christmas, and people weren't hyped about him then. What do you think? Why do you think people want him now? <laughs> they give us the wrong blue boy, guys. See, they give us Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, when it should have been Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Honestly, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting really heated, heated, but like, I've been holding this in since last night when I saw the banner, and I was trying to like, you know, just, just control my emotions a little bit. I'm just like, you know what, it's not that bad. It's actually not too horrible of a banner, but when you think of it in the context of it being our Christmas banner, it's just, it, it's it's not good. It's not good. Especially when JP is getting the Broly and Gogeta stuff. In addition to that LR Trunks banner, that had a 20% LR rate, man. I would way rather have that double rates LR Trunks and my banner than this hit banner. Because, man, like, at, on that banner, at least you had a very good chance of pulling an LR. On this banner, you have a very good chance of pulling trash. A very good chance of pulling a freaking Champa, which isn't trash per se, but he's not even a Dokkan Fest exclusive. It's not even Dokkan Fest exclusive. You could pull him as an unfeatured unit in like any freaking manner. And uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, he's a, he's a Dokkan Fest, but he's been featured so many times and he's so outdated that he doesn't even feel like a Dokkan Fest anymore. Man, uh, uh, 
You know what? I'm getting off topic. We're, we're here to talk about the Broly and Gogeta, but I just had to let that out, guys. I just had to let that out. If you are a JP player, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of what Bandai did to Global for Christmas. It's the, the, the worst shafting slash cuckery we've had in a while. And for global players, of course, I know you guys probably have some strong opinions as well. So let me know in the comments down below about that too. And we can all share in this misery <laughs> and anger and rage together, I guess. Because I am I'm pissed off, man. I'm really pissed off. Because I was expecting way more than, than what we got. And like I said, it's if it was any any old Dokkan Fest banner at any other time of the year, it'd be just fine. But the fact that it took the place of our Christmas banner just makes it fall short of any expectations anybody had for it and it sucks it really really sucks i'm i'm upset but anyways these cards are absolutely broken these are absolutely insane and uh if you're a global player or if you're a jp player summon for them they're must-haves if you're a jp or a global player then save up man at this point i might change my recommendation from my last video because I, I i thought the banner would be better honestly it, it would make sense for it to have been better since it's the christmas banner but um, I would honestly recommend a lot of people just to skip this hit banner, like, just, you know, straight up skip it. Just don't, don't, don't summon on it. Time skip it, whatever you want to say. Just don't summon, don't spend stones on it. Maybe do that 130 stone multi. Test your luck, see if you get lucky. And from there on out, just save for Broly and Gogeta because their banners are probably going to be way better. They're way better units. Well, I mean, they're not way better units than the hit. The hit's still good, but... Um, you know, they're still better than hit, <laughs> and it's it's just gonna be better value for your stones, so I, I gotta say, like, it's a skip now. I, I, I was saying that it was worth summoning maybe a couple hundred stones, but now I'm gonna call the hit banner a skip because uh, we, we kind of know what the Broly and Gogeta are gonna be, and they're they're awesome. They're really awesome, and I'm sure Bandai's gonna be nice to JP because that's how it always goes. They're gonna give us, give them really good celebrations, for a really good celebration, really good banners for these two units, and hopefully they'll keep it the same when it comes to global. But at this point, I'm not surprised if they change some key units in those banners as well to make it a little bit worse. Because that's just how it goes, man. Like, I, I'm tired. I'm tired of this BS that we have to put up with from Bandai for global players, man. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any sense. Um, it, it, I don't get why they can't just give the same thing to both versions. I, I get the time delay thing, right? Like us getting things later than, than JP. I'm okay with that. I'm, I've accepted that. I'm, I'm actually sometimes happy about it. But when it comes to just the quality of quality of life stuff, as well as just quality of like summons and how they treat the player base, and the disparity could not be more evident than right now than it ever was so yeah i mean that's all i gotta say <laughs> awesome awesome hype units i went off on a kind of a tangent but i think it was important to talk about it at least for me personally to just to let it out in this forum or uh, on this platform and i'm sorry if you guys didn't sign up for that i apologize but i, I gotta say what i gotta say i gotta say what's on my mind so there you go guys that <laughs> those are the tur forms for the gogeta and the broly and uh, that's my opinion on the hit celebration on Christmas. It's absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are on all this stuff. On the Gogeta, on the Broly, and also on the Christmas hit banner. <sighs> that's all I gotta say. Um, <laughs> as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if you are new here and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.